forecast. Well, we're tracking a cold front that is inching closer to us. The one that brought all of that devastation out west yesterday uh, lost a lot of its muster. Not seeing as much electricity, no warnings active on it, and expecting it to actually weaken as it shifts towards the east. I do expect a few sprinkles tonight, but all in all, expecting most of us to remain dry, much like what radar is showing across the region right now. Winds are out of the south, roughly 5 to 10 miles per hour across most of the state, and that is bringing in some warmer numbers. Check out east in a full 11 degrees warmer than last night, 10 degrees warmer, in Columbia, only five though in Elton, but warmer is warmer and these numbers are pretty darn comfortable for this time of year. We're talking about mid to upper 50s across most of the state, even holding on to the low 60s right now in Westminster and Columbia. So feeling pretty good this evening. Lots of folks may be stepping out over the next few hours, not expecting the numbers to drop off dramatically, hovering in the mid to upper 50s through around the one o'clock hour under partly cloudy skies. That stray sprinkle in the forecast uh, going to be very isolated, and those morning lows are going to be even milder than they were this morning. So we're talking about starting off the day in the upper 40s. And as we head into the afternoon, another unseasonably warm afternoon. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit of moisture starts to build in. I'm talking about late evening as folks are getting ready to start off their uh, Friday night turn up. Uh, those showers are going to linger into Saturday on and off, keeping lots of clouds around and temperatures will be dropping as that cold front slides through the region and that's going to set us up unfortunately for a blustery Sunday as cold temperature and breezy winds combine to make things pretty uh, chilly to say the very least. As we head into your Friday, that front will continue to push through, but it's going to kind of stall out me up and down. I expect some sunshine through the morning, but clouds to build in as we head into the afternoon before some of that moisture starts traversing northeastward and bringing us that rain chance around nine o'clock for the southernmost part of the state, getting closer to our area in Baltimore at around 11. So the commute is going to be dry. Mix of sun and clouds near 50 degrees. No reason to use the remote start tomorrow. Another afternoon that's going to be picture perfect for a run. I went around Lake Montebello today. Give me the green light to do the same tomorrow. 62 degrees. That's our number about 15 degrees degrees warmer than we should be going to be a beautiful day that transitions to a pretty solid setup for genuine who's going to be at Baltimore soundstage. I think that concert starts off at eight, but folks are going to be lining up at seven. As long as you have that light jacket, you'll be fine. Just remember that those rain chances trickle in late night. So by the time the concert's over, there's going to be some showers around. If you just got your hair done for the concert, maybe a good idea to have that umbrella on standby. Scattered showers around for the seven o'clock hour Saturday morning clouds for the afternoon. As those temperatures are going to be falling, we struggle to get back into the fifties uh, through the afternoon afternoon and it's going to be a bit of a damp day with it being more dreary than rainy and the rain totals are not looking impressive. We're talking about a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch in isolated spots and then that cold air really dominates the rest of the forecast as we fall to 48 with wind chills. They're going to struggle to get into the 40s for your Sunday afternoon, falling to the mid 40s on Monday and then we bounce back into the 50s through the middle of next week.